Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Great Old Maine. My name's Adam. My name is Joe. And we have a special guest today. A very special guest that measures four feet, one inches tall, and weighs approximately about 57 pounds. And hailing, from, ha hailing from the city of Sound, uh, uh, Southgate. Sound, Southgate. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Adam. There you go, buddy. <laughs> you excited? Yes. All right. Good hey, time. what you got right there? Uh, apple juice. All right. Apple juice, buddy. All right. All right. Let's get so, a cheers going, okay? Cheers. We always start our, pro our podcast with a cheers. 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 Yeah. All right, so I get to ask the first question today. All right. All right. So look, well, well the, the first part is for your dad, all right, Adam? And then the second part's for you. So what, what made you want to bring your son on, on the episode, right? Yeah. And, and two, how excited are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what made I, I – shoot, uh, that's a good question. Um, just it's interesting to have a kid's perspective on, you know, on life – and, um, you know, yeah, I, I think that's kind of like where, where we could start. Yeah. It's just like it starts with, with with having a good little perspective of what, what kids are looking at the world like now. Absolutely, right. You know? Yeah, because uh, we already have this vision of of being the adult in this life, right? And then yeah. uh, so when we see the kids, like, we see all these innocence and we see there's like, like non-maliciousness in them, you know? Yeah. So it's just like when we see that, obviously it's, it's, a, it's a good sign, you know, especially like, I mean, a good kid like, like like your son. Yeah, I think that's that. I think you kind of hit on the nose in relation to the innocence. Like a lot of kids his age, probably not as innocent as he is, and thankfully he is. Um, and well, I kind of want to keep I'm, it that way. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I mean, obviously, yeah, you have your, yourself to, to to thank for that, bro. You know. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah. So I mean, so um, Joe's gonna have some questions for you. You're gonna answer them to the best of your ability. I might have <laughs> some questions for you too, right. and, uh, and don't be shy. Wrong, is, you answer wrong. There's no wrong answer, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unless you say something bad about me. <laughs> All right, buddy, well, first off, uh, how old are you? Seven. Seven years old. Uh, what grade are you in? First grade. Your first grade? Yeah. Oh, wow. uh, what's your uh, favorite topic in school? Um, math. Math? Why math? Damn, well, it's easy for you, but it's hard for us. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Like, um, yeah. what, what do you want to be when you grow up? A policeman. A policeman? Yeah. What, what made you want to choose that? Hey, you don't have to rock so much. Relax. Um, uh, protect the bad guys who do the wrong thing. Who do the wrong thing? Uh, who, um, what, what do you think you learned that from? You think you learned that from, from your dad? Uh, I learned that from the police. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, right? <laughs> hey, kids say the darnest things. And this is our first little taste, huh? <laughs> Did you learn it from your dad? Hell no. I learned it from the police. <laughs> no, you know, but, but I mean, so it's like we hear that a lot, right? Especially when kids, like, yeah. especially me growing up too. Yeah. My dream was to be a police officer also. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, you know, so it's like I see that. And I don't think it was more, more so like a lot of people think because of the, the power they have um, yeah. potentially or like the misuse of it, you know? Mm -hmm. But like, nah, man. I mean, obviously there's perks, you know? Of course. Wrong, you know? Freaking free coffee at Starbucks, you know, or was it something like that, right? But I think to 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 add on to that, I I would say it's not about the power in, in, in relation to other people. It's about the power in relation to yourself. Like you want to help other people. And as a kid, you see superheroes and the closest thing to a real life superhero is firefighters and police Policeman. officers. Yeah. Oh, and then doctors. And so you see a lot of kids, they want to be those three things. Absolutely. Firefighters, doctors, and cops. And I mean, this boy right now, at this point, in at this stage in his life, he wants to be one of those. Shit, like, um, I mean, I'm, I'm 29 now, right? Yeah. But like, when I was his age, I'm like, oh, all I cared about was like running around, playing sports, you know? Yeah. And then, I, I mean, let me wrong. I was, I was a good kid in school, you know, but... Mm -hmm. Like I, I was, I would just do the work because like I was taught to do so. Yeah. You know? So like I think now like um I mean once we get a little bit more deeper and in, so into little Adam, but mm -hmm. like I think like once once when you really get to like see them grow and see them mature, then mm -hmm. you be like, oh, we can see how serious they really are about that uh, dream. Yeah. You know? And I think in his particular case, and we you, we can we can ask him, um, you know. He has that same love for sports, so there, he's no different yeah. from from when we were eight, when we were his age. In well, that, I mean, from that let's say it right now. So it's, it's like 
But you were his age. You wanted to be a police officer? Uh, when I was his age, I probably did want to be a police yeah. officer. Yeah. You wanted to be many things. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I wanted to be a lot of things yes. growing up. Damn, it's tough. And every, every like, and I've told him in the past, like, every stage in my young life, I wanted to be different things, you know? Yeah. At one point, I wanted to be a police officer, and then I wanted to be, uh, I think I wanted to be, like, a lawyer. And then I went from wanting to be a lawyer to wanting to be uh, an Olympic wrestler. And then went from yeah, wanting to be was, a... That one, that one's tough. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to be an Olympic wrestler, and then I wanted to be an MMA fighter, and then I wanted to be a singer, and then... I had oh, all yeah, these you vocals on you? Let me Bro, yeah. I, I used to sing in a, in a little group. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what my tattoo is. Wow. Rev Soul, uh, my, uh, our music group. Yeah. Oh, I actually didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> See, I learned, you learn something new from everyone <clears throat> each and every single day, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Uh, so, Adam, um, right now you want to be a cop. Yeah. What, what is the most uh, like uh, intriguing thing about being a cop for you? Like, What's the most exciting thing about being a cop? Well, well, to put it easier, like, what's the reason why you want to be a cop? Because helping people that were in danger. That are in danger? Mm. Okay. So, like, um, what what would you do to to help them out? Put the person that was doing the wrong thing, put them in jail. Really? They're doing the wrong thing. Okay. Um, do you need to be brave to be in that job? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why, why do you think you need to be brave? Because, because fear is holding me back. Oh, interesting. So you feel like that's something that you have to work on in order to become a cop one day? Yes. Yeah, that's good. Um, I have a saying uh, that I heard one time, and I think it's a pretty cool opportunity to tell it to you. Um, fear, it, uh, bravery isn't in the absence of fear. Okay, so to be brave, it doesn't mean to not be scared. But to be brave is to be scared and to do what's needed anyway. That's what it is. Okay, sound good? Sound good. All right, pound it. <laughs> Sounds good. So, um, uh, what's your favorite sport then? Ooh, which one's gonna like, be? Oh, if you want, you can name your top three, right? But like, if you if you had to put them in order, what would they be? Which one's your favorite? Um, oh, I want to hear this. <laughs> football. Um, I need to football. No, just uh, football. Yeah. Football. Wait, yes. you have your fantasy team? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you see, like, if you had him, he's probably going to take our shit. But, like... <laughs> football, baseball. Mm, soccer. Soccer? Soccer? No way. Okay, so your first one is which one? Okay. okay, and then your second one? Baseball. Baseball? And your third one is soccer? Now... You know, you know, you know what got me into the reason of getting into soccer? Tell me. Is that... Because soccer is the same thing, but instead of using your hands. Oh, okay. So, okay. Not, so they don't have to pick up the ball every time. Okay, so do you know what I thought you were going to say for your number three? What? Basketball. <laughs> it's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> I don't really like it. You don't really like it? No way. You see how we learn something new from each and every one? Yeah, I shoot. <laughs> I didn't know that, guys. I didn't know that. I mean, we go and we play basketball two times yeah, a week. Yeah, but I don't really get pictures. I don't really like it that much. Let me ask you why. Why don't you like it that much? Because it's hard. What's hard about it? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Okay. Is it because you guys haven't won a game yet? And that's the reason why you don't like it that much? Because okay. close to the whole, close to the, I've been losing for. Well, you haven't lost all of them. You guys tied one of the best teams in the league. You guys tied them the moment we started doing things a little bit different. Started practicing more and stuff. Um. Well, we, so. They're they're six and seven year old kids, right? That's a tough age, bro. It's yeah, easy to to be like, 
Um, because obviously, I, I I think as young, especially as as uh, young young men, you know, like mm-hmm. or um, kids, like boys. Yeah. Like it, it's it's no one likes to lose. Yeah. You know? So obviously that brings like the morale down in the mm-hmm. team, you know. Especially me, I played a uh, uh, travel ball too when, when yeah. I was his age, you know. Mm-hmm. And luckily, our I had a very good coach actually, mm-hmm. but uh, but he was hard on us, you know. Yeah. So it's like when we when we would lose, we would be devastated because we would put all this hard work into into yeah. our like routine, you know. And then, and then and then when we would lose, it, it sucked, you know. Yeah. But um, I, I'm gonna tell you because I play basketball too. I'm pretty sure that did as well, right? But nah, I didn't. No, not basketball. <laughs> no way. So, I coach it, but yeah, I don't know nothing yeah, about it. Really. See? So it's like it doesn't matter if you lose. It doesn't even matter if you lose by thirty. Like it's, it's just because the thing is, um, they don't do. They used to didn't do the same rules. They used to make change the rules. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, uh, and I'll tell you a little yeah. bit about that. But let let Joe finish his story. Yeah, so, so it's like if you lose, it doesn't matter. It, so um, there's this saying it goes like um you gotta be better than yesterday you know so it's like as long as um you improve each and every game you're already winning you're already winning let's say you only scored two points in one game and you scored three points in the next game you're already winning you're improving as you go you know so and then as you get older you're gonna start realizing that you're like you know what like it's fun even though we're losing but i mean yeah yeah you know so the thing that the, the most challenging thing in their age group right now is a lot of these kids have never played basketball in, the, in their lives. But, but you see how, how so, yes, that, so, that's a lot to go into it, you know? And like, then there's certain, certain uh, teams. There's some, there's some kids that are good. Yeah, there's some kids, there, there's some kids that are yeah, freaking you, gifted. You always have those kids that are like naturally just gifted, like yeah. right off the bat, right? Like, and then on top of that, there's some kids that never went to the, to the, uh, oh, I can't really <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, relax. Um, there, some of the kids didn't go to the assessment. So they just got plugged into... Um, or were those the, the better kids? or the, like the, Some of the better kids did not go to the assessment. So you know what happens, right? The coaches uh, get them. Uh-huh. And you don't get to show up. And I'm going to pull you out of the player pool uh-huh. and randomly, right? Yeah. But, so that's what our coach did. Oh. So um, we were in a, an elementary and middle school team, right? Okay. And, and and he'll put us in the park league for fun. Uh-huh. Actually, sh- I want to shout my coach. Shout out Victor Amara. <laughs> he's he's you're a really good coach all the time. You know, we when I cut his hair, we make we we bang we bag a lot on each other. Uh-huh. But now it's like solid love. Like yeah, he actually uh he coached my brother too. My brother Yoyo. No way. Yeah, man. That's crazy. So yeah, like he's he's like a family friend for man twenty plus years. You know. Uh. So but yeah, he'll put us in park leagues for for fun. Yeah. You know, like those were like our practice games, and in the assessment. Uh, we were all put together, you know. So like, but like, um, I guess like, because in assessment, you they had like a, a practice game, right? Yeah. No, no. Well, they they would what they did for us is they had all the kids go and um, bounce the ball around a specific area because they're so low level. They had all the kids bounce the ball in an area and then shift hand, like change hands. Okay. Well, so dribble more or less. Yeah, like, dribble with one hand, then dribble with their with their less dominant hand, okay. and then see how they went from there. And then yeah, you're gonna get drunk with that apple juice over there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so they end up um, having to dribble, and then they uh, they write their assessment off of that, and then even have them shoot because they're so little, um, and they really couldn't reach the, the basket yet. Um, but yeah, they made the teams, and then so I get my team, and I don't really know that much about basketball. And then I only had, like, out of all my kids, out of all my kids, uh, you had seven players. I uh, no, I have nine. Okay. I had nine, so nine total kids, and then out of those nine kids, um, three of them went to an assessment or a uh, a clinic beforehand. So I only had three of those kids. And, um, yeah, I mean, basically it's been teaching them how to bounce yeah, the ball, right. teaching them how to do these things. And the first couple of games, well, the first couple of games, we, we were getting smoked. And then uh, I started playing. I taught them uh, responsibilities, and I gave them each a job. And yeah. so basically each so have them, building the team. each, each, have the, each has, a, has a, a zone middle, on the court. The middle, the side. The other side and then yeah. So yeah. I have like a three three right underneath the basket. So and, and they have to stay in their zone. 
and then I play two up on top. Well, that's zone defense. Yeah. And then I have them just chase whoever has the ball. Oh. Because it's little kids. And yeah, then, yeah. so basically, you chase everybody into, in, into, into wherever the next defensive player is, and you just keep, yeah. you, you keep going, keep going. Actually, keep going. No, bro, you didn't help out. I wouldn't mind doing that. Yeah. That'd be cool. We have one last, uh, one last practice, which is uh, this Wednesday, and then we have one last game, I think, on Thursday. No, yeah. no, because we have two more games, remember? I think we only have one more game. No. Yeah. Remember the next game? Yeah, one more game, and on Thursday. And then you start baseball um, in April. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yay. Yeah. Because April's the... Wait, what is it? Opening day? <laughs> Thursday, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, so on Sissy's birthday, the week after is when you guys start playing bas- baseball. Um, but yeah, so that's what the way it works. It, it means, um, so like obviously your son being being on that team, right? Mm-hmm. Are you more like hard on him, or of are you? He has to be the example, and 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 it's the same way with his with with him and his brother and his sister. Like he has to be the example. He's the oldest. The oldest. That's the same thing that was was expected of me, and it's what I'm going to expect of my son. And he may feel as t- at times it's fair or unfair. He may or may not like it sometimes, but I we do what we have to do. Huh? <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what position are you playing in baseball? Mm-hmm. Do you know yet? Mm-hmm. Uh, my dad said maybe. Maybe, um, uh, <laughs> base or second base? Third base or second base? Yeah. Uh, or short. Uh, okay. Or short. Yeah. Just because he's, he's pretty active and he's, he'll chase he's after quick. He's quick. So, I mean. Oh, I mean, we no, were no, just there. Yeah, we were yeah. doing BP yesterday. Yeah, we had BP yesterday. I was yesterday. Oh, yeah, yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. We were doing BP yesterday. And, I mean, he's in, he, he was like, I want to play outfield. I was like, but if you play outfield, the kids aren't going to hit it that far, you know. Yeah. So you might as well just play infield yeah. and then play shortstop or, or third or third or second. Okay, and because that's usually where kids his age are going to be hitting anyway. No one's going to be going oppo. So yeah. just so, so, yeah, a lot of practice in. Right? So the yeah. thing is, I'm the only one that can hit the farthest. Nah, there's going to be kids that are going to hit farther than you, bro. Dude, I can I can smack away. Mm, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Right now, <laughs> hey, you, right now you're saying that, right? But when the last time you played, you were five. I, I, I couldn't be able to hit the ball. No, no, no. I'm saying. All I'm saying is when you were last playing, when you last played with the Dodgers on the Dodger team, you were one of the better kids, but you were also one of the older kids. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to be one of the younger kids. Oh, you, you put him up on the yes. group? So yeah. now he's in the so next age group. I, I, I personally, that, that's, so that's always good, so you know? Six, yeah. So it's seven to eight. Huh? Yeah, so now you're seven to eight, and you're one of the kids that just barely turned seven. Oh, so, okay. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. You're, you're going to be one of the younger ones. And it's good, though, because you're going to get opportunities to, to you know, to, to learn. You're going to be, Is there like, you remember, you know how, like, when you go and play football, right? Mm-hmm. When you played football and you had Aiden on your team, you and Aiden, you guys were going and you guys would practice by yourselves. Just you two, right? Oh, wow. That's, that's yeah. Cool. He, he, so we got this We got this friend, uh, one of his friends. Uh, he, he's played football with them. Now he's played basketball with them. And then this upcoming season for baseball, he's, he's going to play with Addison. Um, he's going to play on Addison's team because he's still six. I, I, Addison's playing too? Addison's going to play baseball. Wow. That's, yeah. Well, five. T-ball. T-ball. She's going to play T-ball. Um, going to be five to six. Five to yeah, and then he's gonna play in seven and eight. But Aiden, um, Aiden's, Aiden's pretty well developed for being six yeah. years old. He's like like coordinating and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and uh, he's pretty athletic. He's fast twitch kind of kid. Okay. Um, well, I, I kind of see that in, in Adam actually. Like, like, I think so. Like like when when we were hitting yesterday, mm-hmm. I seen him like very like enthusiastic. Like also like like attacking the ball and stuff, mm-hmm. you know. And and I think there's certain stuff that like. You can't teach, you know. Yeah. You you you, you know. You, you know. Like, <laughs> You're right. Yeah. You just see it. Um, nah, but yeah, with Aiden and him, uh, when we were playing football, when we were playing, when when he was playing football, um, 
him and Aiden would, would after practice they would stay and me and me and Aiden's dad would just be bullshitting afterwards, just talking shit, and then he'd be right there yeah, fucking just, playing. just he playing would cover he would he would practice cover he would cover Lino uh Lino's kid, which is Aiden. Aiden. He'd be covering Aiden and then Aiden would take turns covering him. And they would just run routes, oh, wow. try to cover each other, and and they they wanted to do that for each other. See, and that's, it's that's like awesome. it's it's that natural like it's that natural competition between them two on a like friendship basis not like i want to be better than you I but think. like i want to like we're going to get better together kind of thing and it's badass to see dude oh, yeah i mean it's badass to of see. course it, well i mean so it's like uh i'm gonna be frank you know i'm gonna be honest yeah. like so obviously i don't have kids yet right mm -hmm. uh, i would like some eventually in the future um but like I, I see this, like I see him like very enthusiastic. I see him like, I, I think right off the bat, obviously not only because I I uh, I don't know longer, right? And yeah. obviously I know Adam, but like I see like I, I see like the relationship you guys have, man. You know, mm -hmm. it's like obviously it's a father son thing, right? But like I, I know you can also talk as friends, you know. Yeah. So it's like, and I think that's important. Like m like me, like uh, me growing up, I didn't really have a, I really have a dad, you know. But like uh, I, so it's like I couldn't really have that more so friendship, I guess. Mm -hmm. It was more like, oh, like, I'll see him. Oh, it was just a sign of respect. I would always respect him no matter what. You know? Yeah. At the end of the day, that's, that's my father, you know? So it's yeah. like, I, I take him with respect regardless. Or, or that that's how I was I was brought up from where, where my mom, right? But like, yeah, of course. And I see that, and it's just like, dude, it, it's, 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 it, I feel like it's a beautiful feeling, you know? Yeah. Obviously, there is, there, there's times where, you know, you need to freaking, yeah. like, be, stand your ground. You're stand your and, ground, you know, be stern. Be, be, be that strict person that you need to be. Yeah. With you know, because obviously he's gonna make mistakes, right? Yeah. And and obviously it's up to you to try to, to correct. To try and correct. Yeah. Let let's ask you that, Adam. What does it What does it mean to have a dad? It means that you're having someone that that's by your back. You're right. It's beautiful. You're right. Right. You know, like it's. Let me ask you this, Adam. Um, if you don't mind me asking, like. Who's your hero? <laughs> My dad. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. See, like, like that's that's something that obviously I, I think I every father out there obviously I think that's their goal in life, right? Like yeah. to, to to obviously if you have a, a little you in, in life, like to nurture, you know. And and I, I know for a fact a lot of people are gonna say, oh, like how would you know you don't have kids, right? But like just from like from the outside looking in, I, I see my brothers and, and and my sisters, you know, like. Um, teaching their kids and well, my nephews, you know, I like bro, each and every one of my brothers is very great parents, and I have a lot of friends that are great uh, parents. So it's just like when you see that, like, I mean, it's heartwarming, you know, like it, it makes me like excited what, what, could, what I could possibly be for, for a person, you know. So it's just like it's, it's I'm pretty sure it's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, you know? like, let, let me let me give me one second, okay? I know, and, and I'll, you can you can take a chance at talking, okay? Um, one message to you and to everybody. The type of individual that cares enough to say something like what Joe just said is the type of individual that goes on to be a great dad. And the reason why I say that is because any dad or any man that wants to be a dad and who envisions what they want to be as a dad or the type of relationships that they want to have as a dad and they're going to be willing to put in the work along the way i can assure you that any man that takes that stance will go on to be a great dad and that's my message to you bro like Appreciate when it. you when when you finally you know you have that child that first kid you're going to be the greatest dad you could ever have been and you're going to Appreciate learn from whatever mistakes or positives that you've seen from other dads um and i i greatly believe that man now let's hear from you what did, what did you want to say let's hear it say it this is your time all right <laughs> um remember what i said a few minutes ago mom if you're watching <laughs> 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 i'm sorry though uh, mom, if you're watching what? Um, I'm sorry, guys. That. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> He's talking about about his hero. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, she won't mind. I don't think yeah, she will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think she will. I don't think she will. Well, if, like, if anything, I think your mom will be proud of you too. Right, trust yeah. Me. <laughs> well, I mean, let's ask you a question that I'm pretty sure you're going to say, Mom, who cooks better, me or Mom? Mom. Yeah. <laughs> and who's the best cook in the world? <laughs> that's right. And what's your favorite dish mom cooks for you? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Don't say sandwiches, all right? <laughs> her fried rice. Her fried oh. rice? I thought you were going to say spaghetti or... I love spaghetti. To, hey, you requested for several days in a row. You wanted steak and mashed what? potatoes, and she made that for you today. Yeah, you're very, he's very sophisticated. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, you know, I, I have a quick story actually about okay. Little Adam. Yeah. So uh, I think one of the uh, first few times I actually met him, right? Uh, he's, he's a good kid. Like, uh, I'm not just saying it because he's but he genuinely is a good kid, you know? So uh, I, I think it was on a Friday on our Friday team, right? And so uh, we played co-ed. Uh, well, we used to play co-ed together. Yeah. And he would bring his family along, right? So I, I'm like, oh, I'm saying what's, I'm saying what's up to him. I'm like, oh, so Little Adam, like, go. Oh, he goes, oh, hello. Nice to meet you. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> Like so, like well, uh, uh, well mannered, well spoken, you know, like it's so well spoken, like. And I'm like, what? Like, dude, you're freaking like four years old, like you're like, what? who are you raising, yeah, Carlton? You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you say he doesn't know who Carlton. Is. Like, yeah, you gotta show him afterwards. Right? I will. So, I will. So, but it's like it was like not shocking per se, but like it was just like it caught me off guard. Like, oh, all right. Like, I, I feel like I need to have my posture. Like, oh, nice to meet you, sir. Like. <laughs> But yeah, like, right then and there, I knew he was a good kid, man. You know, he wasn't running around <coughs> anywhere, like, you know, yeah. he was a good kid. Like, so it's like right away, I seen it. And then uh, when Adam brought up the idea of having him on, I'm like, dude, if anything, he's gonna have a better conversation than us, you know, like, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, a better vocabulary than us. Like, yeah. <laughs> can, I ever tell, can I ever tell you guys a question? Yeah, you want to ask us a yeah. question? Yeah. yeah, sure. What is your favorite thing about life? You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. All right, good, nice. I like that. Um, honestly, it's gonna sound cheesy, but I think family. Like, um, I don't like family is everything, you know. To 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 I I like to say to a lot of people, you know. Yeah. Like it's it's a beautiful thing, you know. You you have your dad, you have your mom, you have your sister, your brother. So then, then I have my family, you know, and I, I love it when we all get together. Like it's it's very very rare now, but like the, once we do get together, it's oh man, it's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah. I can't stop laughing. Everyone knows how goofy I am at times, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's it's just a beautiful thing, man. I, so to answer Little Adam's question, it's family. <laughs> yeah, uh, for me, it's being a dad. You know, being a dad is definitely my favorite thing in life. Uh, having your or meeting your mom. How about that? Um, you guys being in my life has been the best thing for me. Uh, you guys saved my life in so many ways. Uh, I'm the man I am today because I have you guys as my responsibility. Um, so that's that's the best thing in life for me, being your dad. <laughs> All right, you got more questions cry. or what? Uh, yeah. All right, let's they're, hear it. They're going to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? For me, it, it, it always switches, but I think right now... It's only one. Okay. It's only one. All right. I have to say baseball right now. Baseball, huh? Yeah. How about you? Oh, football. Football's yeah. my favorite. Yeah. Okay. But you see, like, if you ask me, like, what do you like to watch more? It's football, you know? Yeah. Like, it's easy. Yeah. But, yeah, baseball. So, I got, I got one for you, all right? All right. So, um, who is your favorite Pokemon? Oh, uh, okay. See, their Pokemon now it changed now. Uh, it, it, back then, it's right? been a lot, so it's not yeah. just 150 Pokemon no oh, more, like 150,000. It's like 500 <laughs> or something like that. So, what's up? Let's hear That's who's your favorite question. Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is Lucario. Lucario, see, oh. like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> He's a little blue guy with like brass knuckles. And, and Wow, that's it different. kind of looks like a, fo a fox. We have to put a picture in the description, eh? <laughs> yeah, Lucario. What else? Um, Pikachu. You like okay, Pikachu. Pikachu? All right, I like Pikachu. You know, there it my is. favorite one. My favorite one growing up was Char uh, Charizard. Yeah, it's 
Yeah, that was my favorite. Char- Charizard. 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 Yeah, you know, it's, well, like my favorite fire type was always Arcanine. Which the dog. One? Oh, the yeah, legendary yeah, yeah. dog. Yeah. Well, uh, quote unquote wait, legendary. Wait, 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 dog. He would evolve. He evolved to because he evolved, So he right? was Growlithe, and yeah, then he yeah, goes yeah. into Arcanine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was my favorite yeah. one. So Just like, he looked badass. Because Charizard was Charmander, and then it was Charizard, right? No. I thought it was Charmeleon, and uh, then it was Charizard. Yeah, okay. right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then um, if, if I had to pick, like, from, like, the the, the starter Pokemon, like, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> I had to go with Squirtle, yeah. Squirtle, Squirtle was my guy. Yeah, Squirtle was my guy. It was, it was Squirtle, Bubba Star, and Charizard. Bubba Star was good. But, the last, but they took the dumb. And then they have Pikachu. Yeah. You see, like, like all those, they were Ash's Pokemon, right? Well, yeah, Ash's. I grew yeah, with, with, yeah, yeah, I exactly. Grew so Ash is still, like, all the way up until recently, maybe like a year or two ago. Um, they made Ash Ketchum. Now Ash Ketchum is no longer part of Pokemon. What? Yeah. yeah they're making a new version. Oh, yeah, wow. but I don't think they've solidified, like, exactly what the story is going to be like going forward. But, like, mm. Ash Ketchum is no okay. longer part of Pokemon now. Actually, so the random one is probably, I'm pretty sure he's going to say this, but well, this is very cartoon. Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes? You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. Uh, no I thought you were going to say Pokemon because right now you know we're speaking on the topic. So, like, <laughs> I, I don't. Looney Tunes? Okay, yeah, okay, what is it? I saying? already figured. That's not. Um, it, uh, my favorite cartoon. You're going to choose one, though, all right, buddy? <laughs> you said Looney Tunes. <laughs> I was never really a big fan of Looney Tunes. Oh, I loved it growing up. Oh, so I'm sorry. I was seeing the, the baby Looney Tunes. I never really like. Oh, okay, okay. I like those. So the Tiny Toonies, the Tiny Toons. You mean the Tiny? That's what that's what they were called. Yeah, yeah, there was like this one called like it was Tiny Toons, and it was like oh, it was when the grandma they're tiny, was tiny. They're toony. They're all ah, little yeah, yeah. yeah. You see, he does have vocals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, come on, let's hear you. Who's your favorite cartoon? Is that anime movie? Anime counts too. Dragon Ball Z. Ah, I figured. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. You know what's yeah. crazy? I always want to get into it, but I feel like it was too difficult to to like start off without without what um without uh, reading the comics. Um, I, nah. You know? So it's like. Uh, so I think I think if you you start off with Dragon Ball Z and then go from Dragon Ball Z to Dragon Ball Super, you're cool. You see, but like I, I would I don't even know the different types of them. You know. So yeah. Like, so like, Dragon Ball Z. Is no, it, okay? No, so three I know, I know. But what I'm trying to say is, you don't have to watch Dragon Ball. So there's Dragon Ball. That's the first one. Dragon Ball. It's just Dragon Ball. And that's and what I, like uh, early '90s, right? It's actually the '80s. Wow. Yeah, it's the '80s. Start off in the '80s. And um, and, like my Suero, my Suero used to watch Dragon Ball when he was in Mexico, Oops. like before he ever came to the United wow, States. That's, or, that's cool. Yeah. So like back in the '80s, my Suero and his friends would meet up. And like they would try to watch um, Dragon Ball Z together, um, and then uh, it's Z. And then Dragon Ball Z, okay. and then they created Dragon Ball GT. But Dragon Ball GT isn't like a legit. It's in the, the storyline, it's, it's like uh, it's, it's it's it got retcon or whatever. And then after that, years, years, years later, like almost 15, 20 years later, they released uh, Dragon Ball Super. Which is a continuation of Dragon Ball Z. So, so there's only three stages. At uh, like legit stages I, that were approved by Akira Tori, Toriyama, uh, yeah. And then uh, the oh, the guy who created it, he just passed away. Oh wow! I wanted to say that. No, you can say it now. He died. Yeah, Akira the, Toriyama, the one that created Dragon Ball. Yeah, the guy that created uh, Dragon Ball. Oh. Yeah, and then they say that they're going to be releasing another 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 series. Dra- another series. Yeah. Okay, that, so that, that, that doesn't sound like too much. Then actually, um, like, and it's not. It really isn't because each episode is probably about twenty-two minutes long. And how many seasons are there per like series? Um, there's probably about two hundred episodes in Dragon Ball Z, and then about two hundred episodes in Dragon Ball Super. So done. if you only watch those two, you'll be you, you'll I'll be. I'll be done cool. watching when I'm like forty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, it's it's pretty. You go through them pretty quick. You go through them pretty quick because. They're pretty interesting. Like they're pretty interesting yeah. because there's a, there's a lot of fighting, yeah, you know. That's my favorite part. Yeah. yeah right? So, so what about yours? What's your favorite cartoon? Ever? My favorite cartoon ever oh, is. What, well, let me ask you this: your favorite cartoon growing up and then now? <laughs> okay. Um, my favorite cartoon growing up and now they're this they're the same. Uh, the '90s X Men, and then now mm. they've got 
Uh, they have re-released it, the X Men '97. Yeah, yeah. I just watched the first I was two episodes. X- I was, I, uh, the '97. No, I was watching the X Men, the the, the animated what series. Called? Animated. Uh, what, what was it called? Uh, the, the, that just top, X-Men, yeah, right? just X Men uh, an, an, animated series. Right? I, I think I was watching it on. Uh, I think it was Hulu, right? I, I don't know if Hulu has it, but I know Disney Plus has uh, X Men the na- uh, the animated series. They have X Men cool, Evolution. Oh, they mid nineties, huh? Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, early I, I, mid nineties. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember seeing it. Um, episodes. And then, uh, then they had X Men Evolution in the early two thousands, and then around twenty uh, two thousand seven, uh, two thousand eight, two thousand nine, they released uh, Wolverine and the X Men, and those were the three different cartoons that they had of the X Men, and then they they released like this anime version one. Mm-hmm. I never paid attention to it. But Daddy, you watched it? Was X Men twenty seven? No, ninety seventy yeah, seven. No, no, it was twenty seven. Remember, was the animated one? No, it's yeah. another one. I know what you're talking about, but that one's not it. That's not the one I'm talking about. There's one that's that that's that has like the art like in anime, anime style, like kind of like animated. uh, kind of like. Animated. I'll show you. I'll show you it. I'll show you it so that way you can see it. But yeah, I it, yeah. my my favorite cartoon back then, and my favorite is my favorite cartoon now. And, and it's just because the characters and the storyline, and just like I don't know, like like that was like my my like I will always say my age group, my age group, we had the the best cartoons to ever have grown up on. I personally agree with you. I think. What was your, I, what was your favorite cartoon? That's a good That's, question. You know what? I think, I think growing up... I think you're going to say Pokemon. <laughs> you know what? I was stuck on Pokemon for a while, but no. Um, I think the one I would look, look forward to watching every freaking Saturday morning mm-hmm. was Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. Really? Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. What, what kind of movie is that? Yeah, you see? Like, that's crazy. So Yu-Gi-Oh was like early 2000s, right? Yeah. It probably came out around... I want to say like 99, 2000, bro. 99, 2000, 2001, around there. 2000, no, yeah, it probably came out in 99 or 2000. Yeah, Yu Gi Oh! But so, yeah, and yeah, once once they started doing all this Yu Gi Oh! X and all this, mm-hmm. all the, uh, I don't know. He, I caught him watching Yu Gi Oh! at one point on Netflix, mm-hmm. but I don't think he really got it's into it. It's on Netflix? It. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Yu Gi Oh! Yeah. What? Well, I know what I'm doing this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yu Gi Oh! is, uh, it's like, uh, it's like Pokemon, uh, but like Pokemon, but like they yeah. have cards. And then they throw it, and yeah. it's like dungeon. They they call it dungeon ma- ma- masters or monsters. No, no, no. Um, oh, yeah, no, I know. What you, mean. you remember? Well, it was, it was and then there was like, at first. Yeah. yeah. They called Pokemon. They called Pokemon. Yeah, but but in the in that cartoon, it was a little different. You had to have the cards with you. In Pokemon, it, they had the Pokeballs, right? So instead of the Pokeballs in Yu Gi Oh, they had cards. So I'm pretty sure they stole the idea from Pokemon, though. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I'm sure he's watched it. Let's fix your hat. Um. Yeah, I'm sure he's watched it because, and then the moment he sees it, he'll he'll recognize it. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, Dad, I remember. Yeah, I remember those. Um. Nah, but yeah, cartoons. Um, what's What's the next question? What's the next question? Shoot, yes, that's a good question. I want to eat <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Um, ask him who's his favorite football team. Who's your favorite, your favorite football team? Um, the Raiders. No, the Chargers. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like, he lost to Vegas today. That's why he said that if he didn't hit the ball, then he was gonna become a Raider fan. So like, <laughs> you said that right? Yeah, uh-uh. dad, 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 and that was dad, still Lewis. Dad. Still Lewis said yeah. that. But that doesn't mean that that's true. Too. That's right. That's right. All right. I, All right. I already know what kind of football team you are. The Raiders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been getting that ever since I met him, man. <laughs> hey, I gotta cheat him young. Teach, teach him young. Teach him young. So, um, okay, let me ask you something about the Chargers. Let's see if you're a real fan, all right? Who was the quarterback for the Chargers before Justin Herbert? Uh, let's see. <laughs> um, I don't let's see. know. I don't think. Thanks, bro. I don't think he's gonna know this one. Really? Yeah. Well, because well, he was really little when when yeah. he was really little. Look, look, I know, I know my history. I want to see if you know yours. <laughs> I don't really know that much. Um, either 
something. I was <laughs> 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 a quick, quick uh, comment. Uh -huh. So um, my brother Yo Yo, well, you know Yo Yo, right? Yeah, yeah. So he was like, "Hey man, like, what's up with that freaking hot ass orange juice you guys be drinking?" <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he said, yeah, so shout out, yo, yo, right? Like, yo, so, yo. he told us, he was, hey, man, the freaking glasses need to be cold or something. Like, and then you guys take 30 minutes for a beer when when we're drinking right there, we take 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth, though. Well, I mean, because we're, we're so caught up in the conversation that, you know, we're not trying to get fucked up. Uh, tell yo, yo that, man. Tell hey, that. yo, yo, we're just trying to have a good conversation. <laughs> Keep you entertained, baby. You know? No, I, but. Actually, uh, he's one of the uh, uh, persons that. Uh, he watches the whole episode, right? And then he calls me right, like, right, right off. Like, I guess I, I'm after. assuming after you finished watching it, right? Yeah. He goes, look, bro, everything was good, but. <laughs> you know? yeah, so, yeah. And then, so obviously that like, you heard that saying, right, guys? Like, yeah. um, everything before but is BS, you know? So, <laughs> <laughs> nah, but shout out to my brother, man. You know I love I you, love bro. that. I love that. Uh, okay, but, yeah, yeah. but you know, so like, just comment like, and I remember right, looking at the beer. I was like, hey, I know you guys gonna say the same thing. Like, <laughs> yeah. hey, but you know what? At least, at least we got a, a picture this time. We're we're yeah. we're, hey, so we're we're steadily working our way up, right? Hey, <laughs> you just you're gonna keep seeing us get better and better. Um, so his name was Philip Rivers. Do, do you remember him? No, That's number seventeen. Uh, you mean that you, you remember? He doesn't cuss. <laughs> he he, no, he don't cuss. Philip Rivers. Philip Rivers did not use does not use any cuss words. Nah, I, don't I do swear that. to you, that was the biggest dickhead in the league. Yeah, he talks a lot of shit, but he don't cuss not one word. Like legit, he won't he's cuss. Like, he's like a John Hader or from yeah. Napoleon. Yeah. He, uh, uh, fun fact, actually, he in all his movies that he does, he never says one curse word. Bro. Really, John Hader. Interesting. And he's, he does a lot of funny movies, you know? Like, yeah. He doesn't curse. Yeah, he doesn't cut, use any curse words. Any curse oh. words. He won't even say how. And he's like a devout Christian? Or yeah, what? he's a Christian guy. And then he's got like nine or, or, no, I think he's got like 10 kids now. What? Yeah, he's got like 10 or 11 kids. Oh, he's like, he's building a his football team of his own, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got a kid. He's got a kid that's coming up now, I think already in high school. Oh. His wow. name's Gunner. Gunner Rivers. That's like a good. <laughs> Hell of a name. <laughs> if you're watching this, what? Go ahead. If you're watching this. Uh, Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Uh, that, um, What's up? Let's see. Did he? Did he used to be? Did he, did he stop playing the Chargers? Who? Um, the, number twenty-seven. Oh, you mean seventeen? Yeah, he stopped playing. Uh, he's already retired. Yeah, I still play. If you're watching this, um, <laughs> it's okay. You want to say something, to Justin Herbert? Um, yeah, I do. You should have been a Raider. <laughs> <laughs> no way, no way, huh? All right, what, what would you want to say to Justin Herbert? If Justin Herbert, if you're watching this, you'll always be a Charger. You always be a charger. That's right. That's right. You always be a charger. Hopefully, right. you have Justin Herbert. You're always a charger. <laughs> Anything? Any final words you might want to say to to the people at home right, watching watching our, our podcast? Um, if you're watching, um, if you're watching this, whatever you want to say, whatever you whatever is in your mind, whatever you want to, even if it's a uh, a thought or a tip or anything. Um, um if you're watching this, please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, please subscribe. I like that. Good job. All right. All right. Nah, man. Thank you so much. Uh, for, for uh, Justin. Bro, I was just, just. I'm telling you, like, I I can't stress this enough. Like, man, he's a good kid, bro. Like, his yeah. energy is there. Like, you know, it's. It's a little you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, like, you know, it's funny. Um, so maybe, so maybe about like two years ago. Yeah, probably like two years ago. Um, me and my suera would get into it a lot, and not in a bad way, but like you know, she loves my son, and obviously I love my son, and we have conflicting ideologies in relation to how we want to raise somebody or how we want to raise some yeah our kid yeah. 
Um, and we had like, um, we had like a, a situation where one time, you know, we had like a, a, a real good heart to heart, like, and in that situation where we had that real good heart to heart, like I went on to explain to her when I raise Adam, I raise him with the, I, with the idea in my head that I see so much of myself in him. Like, and not not through intent, like the things that I don't, plan, I like I didn't plan on instilling in him, are the things that like make me feel like when I see him, I see me, or I see like a version of me from like a different, like an alternate reality, right? I think. Um, and I I shared with her like and, and out of nowhere I just start bawling, right? I start bawling and I share with her I'm like. When I see him, I see myself. And when I'm raising him now, like I, I take it like serious. I take it serious, and, and and I want to succeed in preparing him for the world in a way that perhaps my parents couldn't do for me. And I want to just do the the slight different little things that my I felt like my parents needed to do for me that they couldn't do for me because they just didn't think along those lines or for whatever reason. Okay. Um, and yeah, I just want to be just, you know, and, and, and I've talked to my dad about it since then. You know, my dad's like, yeah, like I want you to be a better dad than I was and so on and so forth. Well, I, mean, I mean, that would be ideal, right? For yeah. like, uh, like for like in, anyone in that's, that's looking <clears throat> or anything like, like your grandparents obviously do something, did something, uh, well raise um, our fathers a certain way, correct? Yeah. And then the, the, I believe, I genuinely believe this, like, their goal is obviously to be a better dad than them. Yeah. Or at least not make the same mistakes, right? Yeah. And, and therefore, it will, it will, like, it will take that, that tumble effect. I think yeah. it's, it's how it's said. Yeah. To, like, make your kid better, you know? Yeah. So now your goal will be to not, to not make the same mistakes as your father did. Yeah. And, and teach him um, to best of <clears throat> your ability, right? Yeah, no, I think that's, I, and I think that's really, really good, man. Uh, like a really good point. I, I heard a saying on on Instagram, scrolling through, you know, the death scroll. <laughs> the death scroll. Yeah, I I heard a, an Instagram say something along the lines of, "Your father is the only man that would ever like to see you do better than him." Genuinely genuinely want you to do better than him i i kind of like i would love to believe 100 percent that but i think there's those bad apples that you yeah know, like I, I get that and i i think i think you make a really good point in that like there's always the story of like the, the old king not wanting his son to see, yeah, come in no, and, like, and be the next king you know so like, I, um I, I, i'm not making a lot of sports references right but yeah. like, like archie man you know right obviously uh he wanted his kid the, there's his sons to to be better than him and yeah. they, they were bro yeah Peyton Manny, Elaine Manny, they're both super champs you know like yeah. it's it's beautiful you know yeah absolutely so and and then now um it's whose son is it uh that his name's Archie Manny too it's their nephew so uh, oh, oh no 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 so yeah so it's so, so look uh, Archie Manny Texas right I think. Uh, yeah Long so horse. the crazy thing is with that is it's not Eli's or Peyton's yes. it's their older so, brother's Oh, it's brother the sister. No, it's oh, their older okay. brother's. Uh, yeah, so it's the oldest brother that just had an. He 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 got injured before he could get into the NFL, and so he college, never. Got he, injured? Yeah, he got he got hurt, and he just never got a chance to make it, and because he never made it, he I his he son has that, that, has that vendetta for his dad, right? Yeah, <laughs> oh, dude, I don't know. That kid looked good. So, he was the best. He was the best quarterback coming out of high school. school. Yeah, but so I, I, it's his freshman year this year, I believe. Right? I think so. Um, I, I don't think he's starting though, bro. I I don't know. Yeah, so, I, I, guess, I have not paid attention to yeah, to so, the Longhorns. Yeah, um, ahead, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, no, that that's pretty much the only thing I can think of with in relation to that like that storyline. But yeah, dude. I mean, right now we in the NFL draft. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, guys. That are the sons of great players, Marvin Harrison well, Jr. Think about it, bro. We're getting older. Man. Brendan yeah, Rice, right. Brendan Rice, yeah, Jerry Rice's. Uh, yeah, um, uh, the the kid, the defensive tackle from uh, uh, Chris Jenkins from uh, I think that's his name, Chris Jenkins from Michigan. 
was, he's a D was, tackle. Was his father? Chris Jenkins. He, he oh. so he's a junior. Um, there's like um, there's I don't know. There's like a gang load of. There's Trotter Jr. There's fucking. I can't remember who else, but I can tell you. There's at least like a good six or seven guys. Oh, out. Frank Gore Jr. Oh, is going to play. He play. just He's... missed his dad from like yeah. playing by like two or three years. Yeah. That's crazy, He's bro. He's retired in 2020, actually, uh, Frank Gore. Yeah, dude, that shit's crazy. Yeah. Like to me, that's yeah. crazy because oh, the... it ain't basketball. No. It ain't It ain't like the Bronny LeBron situation. No. It's cause, and then keep in mind, Frank Gore played one of those – Oh, the hardest position where you get hit every fucking play. Yeah, like, that's true. Think about crazy. that. His legs, every day getting hit, and practice getting hit. Yeah. You know, he lasted 15, 16 years in the league, bro. Like, yeah. That's, that's tough, bro. It's incredible, bro. It is yeah. incredible. Yeah. Fucking Frank, George, Frank Gore Jr. And he looks like a clone. What, what, um, what, what school did he go to? It was like a, a small school, right? I think he went to like Missouri, like yeah. the Mizzou. I think, I think he went there. Okay. I know it's like a dark school with like a, yellow or white. Way? Yeah. Yeah, like black. I want to say like black or like super navy. Yeah. Uh, like super dark navy blue kind of okay. thing. But yeah, bro. Yeah, and I swear, you see a picture of the son, and you see a uh, you see the freaking Just picture of the dad. There's no denying. Big bulky dude, son. Yeah, like, <laughs> with no neck. Yeah. That's, a, that's like a freaking rhino, huh? Just yeah, like coming bro. at you, running back. Like, yeah, yeah, that boy and that boy. I swear, there's no denying that fool. There's no like he can't say I want a paternity <laughs> test. Like, dude, that would look like you, <laughs> exactly like you. No, but yeah, yeah man. So, um, oh, oh, sorry. No, 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 go go. Uh, no, I was just gonna say, um, you you got a chance to to, to ask him, uh, ask Adam a couple questions, and I was wondering if, like, you you kind of said something about you not having like a lot of opportunities or like you not having like the the best relationship with your pops um what is the one thing that you want to make sure that you pass along as far as like maybe knowledge or something or like a trait or whatever that you want to pass on to your kids that perhaps didn't get passed on to you well it's it's more so like so um, with my dad, we don't have the best relationship, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. um, we don't really have any conversation at all, actually, sometimes. Mm -hmm. But, like, um, like, my mom was my dad growing up. Mm -hmm. you know? Like, she's she's my hero, you know? Yeah. So, like, she she more or less taught me how to be a man, man. Like, you know, like, like she taught me how to treat a woman. She she taught me how, you know, what a father should have, you know? Yeah. So, I think, it's going to sound very simple, you know, but as a father, the first thing I want to do and the most important thing is just be there for my family. Cheers to that. Yeah. Cheers to that. Absolutely. Yeah, just just be there for them and uh, be present, right? You know, I just I, I want to make sure that if they're having any trouble, you know, I could be there for them or in any way, you know. Yeah. Like, or if I don't have the answer, man, let's figure it out together. You know, like it's just that, honestly. Like, uh, you know, it's crazy. I never really thought of that, man. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's it's um and i'm sorry if i if i caught you no, 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 no. um dude like and look i'll say it like even with my dad having been there my whole life you know um me and my dad we've had a lot of ups and downs bro like a lot like a lot and we we're from two different worlds you know like i really can't stress that enough we are like we for most of my life for most of my like adolescence and young adulthood like we couldn't carry on a conversation without having an argument, especially if it was about life or about like yeah. anything it, other it, than it, like this general was, sports. This was as, as you got older, or yeah, yeah, and it wasn't until becoming a dad that me and my dad actually had like a good relationship where we can have like conversations where they didn't automatically turn into arguments. And it's just because like we we see we see life from two different vantage points. Like, like it could be something as simple as. Um, politics or or obviously yeah, politics are politics complex is very complex yeah man. but very, but what i mean is like sensitive. yeah what i mean is like um uh, so like my and we could be arguing the same thing but somehow we end up in an argument you know what i'm saying like that's just like our, our personalities that we just we conflict that much um another one is like he's really union he's like pro-union he's a teamster 
and I'm like, I, I've worked for for staffing companies for like 12 years, yeah. you know. So, and I've worked in non-union. <laughs> yeah, going against some head Yeah, <laughs> so like we literally bash in, in yeah. ideology in relation to that. He's always been like, oh, get out, get the hell out of that industry, and blah blah blah. Yeah. And so, um, but yeah, bro, like now only up until recently, like over like the last, I don't know, five six years, um, have we been able to have conversations and. My dad, more so over the last, like, like before the last five, six years, I don't really recall my dad saying, like, I'm proud of you. And it's, I'm it's, oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm yeah. And then now that I'm a dad, I've heard it more times than I can count. See. You know, that's where, that's where, it, like, I'm like, fuck. So um, I, I, I'm glad that you, that you brought that up or mentioned that, actually. Uh, so, so it's like as you got older, and as you became a parent, I, I'm well, like I said, I think from the outside looking in. Right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like I believe your father now sees you like I guess uh, not maturing, but just like adjusting to life. And uh, that fatherhood, bro, it's 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 the hardest hood there is. I I believe you know. Yeah. So it's it's like I think him seeing you. I guess I'm assuming seeing you. Um, adjust very well and being the father who you are no i think that's when he said oh man like i i even believe he's proud of himself because of how good of a father you are you know and he should be he should be like i i, I like i am a reflection of who he was as a father for me and like the differences between he and i in our personalities will reflect in my kids um but like the morality the 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 like the foundation of who I am as a man and that, that's him that's him like it absolutely is him he's he like you ask you ask Adam who's his he hurt who's his hero dad you're my hero you know uh yeah <laughs> that's as 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 uh as honest I can get he's my hero you know cheers, cheers. you know um. My mom and I had a really good relationship growing up. So like where you're, you have that, uh, like me and with your mom's around every day. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, so me and my mom's, we had like a really good relationship. Like the one that I could talk to, like where we wouldn't clash was my mom. And my mom was always like cheerleader, like cheerleader to the max. Like <laughs> my son, Adam, he's going to be something one day, you know, like <laughs> that kind of mom, you know? And, um, and, uh, the reason why I bring that up is because, Now that I get a chance to be dad, right? And my dad sees me be dad and he's like, he's now my cheerleader in relation to that. And that's like, fuck, like the, the relation, not, not that the relationship has shifted away from my mom and towards my dad. Um, Cause it hasn't, it's, it's pretty equal both on both sides. Okay. Um, but man, that's, that's been like the biggest thing for me in that, I didn't have that before, and now I that I have it. Yeah. It's like, dang, dad, like I want to keep it going. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to let my dad down, and and I damn sure don't want to let my kids down. You know, but yeah, man, it's crazy. Um, it's, it's like like me sometimes now. Like, uh, like I said again, I don't have kids, right? But like, um, as a father, do you take risks still? Of course, but I never take risks that that put my kids in jeopardy. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. So. Like me, like um, I'm the type of person that thinks of the co about the consequences beforehand. Yeah. Okay? Good. So it, maybe it's bad and and good at some point, right? No. Yeah. But like like if I take if I take any risk, uh, no matter how big or how small, like mm -hmm. it only affects me yeah. right now, you know. So so like when I when I I think of that, like as a, I don't think I'll make this. I'll take as many risks if I were a father, you know. Yeah. Because like not only does it affect <clears throat> me, but it affect my family. Yeah. Right? So like like, what do you uh, think about that? Like, so this is what I gotta say. When I was when I was younger, before I had kids, I took way too many risks, way too many risks, to the point where, like, how am I still here today? <laughs> no, but, but and I, and I, how did I make it home? How did like how did me and the homies make it home 
after wild nights and whatever, you know, I don't know. But all I can say is we had angels looking after us. Um, God made sure that it, it didn't happen to us. Um, they say that God, when God says it's your time, it's your time. And it wasn't your time yet. up until this time, God, it got to said it's not my time yet. Um, yeah, a lot of people take that for granted as well. I think like um, people look at, at blessings like they assume it's something so big. Like, oh, I got blessed with, I found a million dollars on the street. Like, nah, man. I think the the little ones are the ones that count the most. Like having both of your parents. Um, I don't know, being able to eat each and every single day. That's a blessing, man. Yep. And people people take that way too much for granted. Like, yeah. you see um, everyone outside now, like, just, or, or, like, in Cyprus, right? Mm -hmm. You see everyone, like, just taking advantage of that. Like, and I I do, like, like if yeah. anything, you should be, um, or I, I'm sorry, let me um, rephrase that. Like, you should be taking advantage of that by doing something better. Yeah. You know, they do that, and then they, they just, like, so Shit all over it, you know. Like, yeah, and I think that's important. I, I think it's important as like so. Now that I'm a dad, that's one of the things that I would like to share with my kids is when we go to sleep. One of the things we do is we're not like the type of family that's going to pray five Hail Marys and five, you know, our fathers and uh, the the you name you name you name a prayer. We're not doing those, but what we do do. As often as I can remember, and I try to be religious about this, uh, pun intended, <laughs> but <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> uh, I try to be religious about this, but sometimes you, you, you miss it, right? And, uh, but one of the things that we always try to do is we try to thank God for the food in our valleys, the roof over our head, and the love in our hearts. And I think those are the three things that as a, as a family, if we appreciate those three things we'll start off the next day at least one step better than someone that did not appreciate those three things yeah, you know so uh and i i just can't remember who who told me this i want to say it was my brother but okay. um, um, i don't know if i actually has already been on, on, on <clears throat> before this but uh -huh. excuse me who comes first mm -hmm. in, in you and in, in your life who comes first it's a really hard question. Like the person that, uh, so I used to always think my kids come first. Okay. But it, over recent times, I've identified that my wife has to come first. Okay. So uh, um, I, I don't mean to cut you off, but so I I want to say it was my brother that 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 we had this this conversation before. Yo yo. Uh yeah, okay. I want to say it was him, but. I don't want to, I don't want to discredit that person, right? But yeah. So it goes like this, and I, like I said, I, I may not be credible to say this, but like, I think if you have a family, right, you have your job, whatever, you have your wife, you have your kids. I think if you aren't first, how are you gonna be in the right mindset to take care of your kids, to take care of your wife? Because if you don't put yourself first. How are you going to be able to take care of someone else? <clears throat> you know? Yeah. So, so I had that discussion, right? And, and and I was so confused. I'm like, nah, man. I said it to my kids are going to come first. No. I'll freaking die for them, right? No. But like when, when, when as we started talking more and more, I just like, wow, man, like, it's true. Because if you're not in your right mindset or, or if you're just unhappy with yourself, you're probably going to cause, um, not, you're not going to, make hatred out of it but like you're gonna you're not gonna put um your family or your wife or whoever else around you in the right position to to be better yeah you know so you 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 kind of hit it on something and then it reminded me of a conversation that i had with my doctor uh about a year and a half ago after i got hit in the face with the ball oh, that's right. and busted my face open uh like uh the very next game i went out and i played you went back to outfield. I went back to outfield. I went out. Right, I went back tough. to out. I went back to outfield, and I missed like two balls like that were gimmies, like that I would have caught beforehand. You know, before I had hit 
my eye and I just chickened out and moved like last second. And I didn't get him. yeah, I didn't want to get him, you know. And um, so that night, that night, I had like some weird anxiety attack. Like, and I've never, after the game right? Uh, yeah, that night after when I got home, and mind you, like, everybody on the team, everybody on the team was like, bro, like, no one gave me shit for it because they knew, like, I had just gone through something traumatic and I was that's, right back out there like it was, it was nothing, you know? So, you like, stitches in, I bet you, and everything. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. I still, I, so, all the, all the guys were like, no, dude, forget like, forget about fucking it. Fucking forget about it. But for me, I was mad. I was frustrated. What, what, we ended what, up losing that game. Like I said, though, we're competitors, bro. Like, yeah. It, it's, it's in our nature. It bothered me. It bothered the fuck out of me. And because it bothered the fuck out of me, and, like, just that plus just, you know, just normal stresses throughout the night, I couldn't <laughs> go to sleep. Stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, just normal <laughs> shit. Uh, and I couldn't sleep. And I just tossed and turned and tossed and turned. And uh, I, I, I had to take a shit. And so I was right there in the middle of the night, just like tossing and turning, tossing and turning. I get up, use the restroom. And dude, like my heart just starts going like crazy. Oh, like like as, if, attack, as, right? if, as if I had just taken a, 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 like a fucking two energy drinks or something like that. I start having this anxiety attack. And... I start freaking out, and so like uh, a couple weeks later, I had a doctor's. Uh, I had my physical, okay. And the 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 doctor's just like, "Hey, what's going on? What's happening with you? And what's been going on?" And I'm like, just trying to talk to her, and I'm like, "Hey, you know, this I, happened. this this happened, and la la la." And she goes, and she 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 goes to tell me. She's like, "Look," she goes, um. She kind of asked me a similar question to what you asked me, and I was like. I gave her like the answer of my kids, right? Yeah. At that time, in my, my, my point of my, my, yeah, the, my way of thought at that time was not, not me, not my wife, but my kids, my kids who came first at that time. And I tell her that and she goes, do you know how many men come in here and say they would die for their kids? I'm assuming and, everyone, right? And everyone, right? And she goes, I love it. I love that these men come in here and they tell me that they would die for their kids. She goes, but I need you to look at one thing for them. Well, no, one thing. I need you to live for your kids. I need you to live for your kids. Do you see that? And I was just like, damn. You know, and right. so she, she put me in like like a shift, like in, in mentality, right? Um, and she said, you know, you just got to live. She goes, you can't take care of other people if you're not taking care of yourself. And... I did like I did hear her when she said it, but it didn't hit me when you hit when, until you hit me right now. And as much as I hear you on that, I guess it's so. There's a battle that I go through right now, okay? And maybe every maybe like somebody listening to this. Is going through this same battle. And so hopefully this helps you out in knowing that you're not alone. Um, but one of the things that I'm currently battling is I'm battling a, like a belief, not necessarily a belief in God. I have, I have a genuine belief in God. Um, but where I struggle, where I struggle is putting him first, you know, and I can't put him first because I have a family and I, I look to my right because my son's over here to the right of me and I put my family first and even in putting my family first like I struggle between sometimes putting my kids first or then putting my wife first and I always put myself last and I put myself last because for me look I, I got a chance to see my wife give birth to all three of my kids. And I saw the the, the pain and, and the difficulties that came along with it. And the respect that I've gained for my wife 
because of those things. The love that I've gained for my wife because of those things. She's, she's, she's provided, she's done a sacrifice for me and my family and my kids. So great to put, to put her life on the line. And like, that's just the best thing I could ever have ever asked for. So putting all these in a hierarchy and putting all these things in like in order of who do I put first and who do I put last and all those things. It, that's the most difficult thing I can, I can think of in terms of like listing things out, you know? So to kind of close this up for somebody is I know I don't, I, I'm not a perfect person. And I know I definitely don't have the perfect answer for this. But right now, the way I look at life is my wife comes first. Because between her and I, we take care of our kids together. And if she's supported, my kids are supported because she spends more time with them. Uh, then it's my kids. And then it's God. Then it's me, you know, and. It may not be the right order, and hopefully God forgives me for it. Um, but that's the order that I have it in at this point in time. You know, you see, and and I think that's someone that someone like you could speak on that because, like, like, like I said, it's it's hard for me to yeah. to speak on that because I'm not I'm I don't have the experience that you have. Yeah. So like, I I can see why that order would uh, um, would go about that. Like, I can see why it makes sense. Like. Like for me, I mean, it, it would be easy, you know, like, but nah, I, I'm, and like, I, and for those who can put themselves first, bro, like that, they're not doing it wrong either. No, but like, it, you know what I mean? Like, like, like it, it's all a matter of perspective. Like, and, and they may be saying me first so that that way I can do right on yeah. for others. Well, that's not ideal. I get that. That's I get that ideal too. order, right? For, for a lot of people. Yeah. Like, like for me, it, it makes a lot of sense, but I don't necessarily think it's the right way. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. But like, I, like the reason why I bombarded you with that question was yeah. just like because like, like I said, you're a father. Yeah, you you have um you know, three beautiful kids like you know at you. different ages in their life like, so, excuse me. So it's like, like you know you have you already had a, a pretty much a almost a, you know like a, well he's seven right but yeah I mean but seven, he's getting close yeah, to he's know, getting like, close to close to the age where like you're gonna have you're gonna have to have um difficult conversations with them. Yeah. You know, you have to teach them, you know what, dad, this, this, and this, you know, life is like this. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, can you do this? You can do it this way or whatever, you know? Yeah. And then uh, you have a little girl. That's the, that, uh, you know, it's, like it, it's, out of all the parenting things that I've ever had to deal with. Having a girl was the hardest, bro. Straight out but, but, so for me, for me, yeah. like maybe for other dads, it's not the case, but for me, being a girl dad has been the most difficult thing for me to become acclimated to because being a boy dad has been the easiest thing for me. Yeah, easiest. Like, I could be, I could just be me the way I, I, my dad was with me and just a little bit different where I could talk to them a little yeah. bit differently because I speak differently than my dad does. Um, but man, being a dad for a girl, ooh, that is tough, bro. That is tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go have a seat, okay? Uh, but, no, but yeah, man, that's like, the so like I, I see my brothers like, so it's uh, uh, my my oldest brother uh, Beto actually, mm -hmm. Beto, you know I love you. <laughs> so uh, he, I met Beto. No, I've met no. Yo Yo, and then <sighs> the funny one, Juan. Juan, yeah. yeah. So my oldest one, he actually lives in Utah now, right? Okay. So uh, his first three kids were girls. So I see him. I, I, we've got to live with each other, and, okay. and I see him adjusting. And and, and uh, wait, 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 I'm I'm fast forward a little bit, but I see him on like three girls. I'm like, and uh, his oldest girl is my age. Okay. So like we, we were like best friends when we grew up together, you know. Yeah. And it's crystal actually. So uh, I seen I seen him, and it's just like, it's totally different raising a girl than 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 a boy, right? One hundred percent. Like, uh, I seen him, and he did a he did a great job. Like they're nice girls you know like i i seen them and i, I could just imagine how difficult it was you know yeah because obviously they grow up they have a family of their own mm -hmm. you know it's not difficult to see that you know 
So it's like, I bet you, you right now, just imagining that that thought process. No, is like, <laughs> no, you know, my like, daughter's gonna be a nun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, so, so it's like that's difficult. Yeah. You know? And then after him, he had his oldest son, uh, uh, K was boy. You know, mm -hmm. I see him, and then, and then he's like, dude, like, I think it was easier raising my daughters than it was my boy. Really? So like, I see that. I guess because, um, he had it firsthand with girls, and then I'm re re raising a boy. You know, because boys are we're all like. Uh, to a certain point, we're, we're rebels, you know, yeah. we do little stuff that gets us in trouble and stuff. You know? yeah. So like, I see him and I'm just like, oh, yeah, like that was like he 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 went through it, not backwards. Right. But like he went through it like in a different manner. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. so I can like, see that. Like, so I see him, but with just three girls, I'm like, whoa, like it's going to be tough. You know? like, <laughs> and, well, our, and all his uh, all his um, uh, his first three girls, actually, because he has seven kids, actually. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah you, know, you know you got a big family. Five, five. <laughs> so all three of them, they, uh, they have families on already, actually. So oh, wow. yeah, yeah. So uh, he's a he's a grandpa at an early age, you know. <laughs> Damn, bro. But yeah, they're beautiful. They're they're in, that family. They have, they have their beautiful families. They they have their well, you know, their, their life more or less uh, sorted out. You know, that's dope. So you know, and I and I, I still talk to my brother not uh, every every once in a while, or whatever, right? But like, yeah, he tells me, hey, man, like, he always told me, like, Joseph, like, do, do whatever. He always told me just to get, not grab the bull by the horns, right? But like, just like, have fun and enjoy life, you know? Yeah. That's, that's his saying, like, for everything, you know? Like, yeah. like he's, he's that, 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 that older brother that when you, when you, when you talk to him, he's going to give it to you straight. Mm -hmm. And he'll give you the best lesson you, you could do, you know? You're like, 29 now? I'm 29. Okay, so you turned 30 this year? Yes. Okay, cool. Got a question for you. All right. So I saw this a couple days uh, on Instagram, and the question was, though, for those who are in their 30s, and you're about to turn 30, so I'll, I'm going to include yeah, you yeah, in this. Yeah. All right, those who are yeah, in their 30s. Scary, being 30 already. <laughs> Just there when I freaking turn 18. Hey, like. hey, bro, I'm about to be 35, so. Yeah, but you look 25. Bro. Ah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take off my hat. Show everybody my entradas. <laughs> no, so um, for those of who are in their thirties, what would you say to someone entering the entering their twenties? Wow! One that's... little piece of advice to them. What would you give them? I, I don't like sounding cheesy, bro. But no, nah, but don't don't don't, like, don't stress like, it. It's just. Enjoy life. I'm sorry. Do whatever you want to do in the beginning of your life because life comes at you fast. When you turn 20, next thing you know, you turn 30, look, look, look at me, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, just enjoy life. I, I, I'm not, uh, I don't want to sit here and tell you that I, I explore the whole world, but I, I have my fair share of traveling experiences. I'm at, I don't have kids. I don't have no, uh, I hate to say because my mom always says this to me or, or my sisters, my brothers, like, que, que no tengo responsabilidad. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, I don't have, uh, it's not it's not it's not that i don't have responsibilities it's, it's that like i don't have i'm not tied to a responsibility yeah know? so i have my responsibility at home obviously i have my just like anyone's i have my fucking bills you know yeah, like yeah. everything you know but like i guess if i want to step out and go to a fucking tokyo i could go right yeah but like it's just like like that and there right but like so i i for more or less for my 20s i really have fun you know yeah so now that they're getting over um, I'm going into my 30s. I, obviously, I want to start adjusting and looking forward to building a family. Yeah. You know, getting married, you know, and, and all that. But, like, for someone that, that's just entering their 20s, it's just have fun. Take advantage of your youth because, honestly, this body is, it's, you're borrowing it, you know? So <laughs> you're it's like, borrowed time. You know, so it's just like, take advantage of it. You want to travel the world for in 80 days <laughs> or whatever, do it. If, if you want to, um, th th I know this, one of my clients actually, his, his, um, one of his coworkers, he, he did this, he did it backwards, which makes a total amount of sense, right? He, he says this, he was, I sacrificed my twenties to live in my thirties. So a lot of people are like, what the fuck? But like, you're 20. I don't want to work. Like whatever. Yeah. But now this dude has three houses. Uh, I don't think he has kids. And you know he's renting them out. He has a very good job. He has a career set out. He had, he had that game plan, right? No. Yeah. So it's just like when I hear that now, I'm entering my thirties, obviously, like that sounded it sounded like a good plan. Yeah. Because in ten years that you sacrifice, bro, 
Because when you're in your when you're in your teens, you can't do what you're in your twenties. But when you're in your twenties, you could do what you're in your thirties. Yeah. You know. So it's, um, I think I think that's I, I think it's important to to to, ident- to point out. It's you can do those things from your twenties to your thirties when you're a man. Because for a female, you 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 have a biological clock. You see, so, so I think it's, it's like, important to 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 note those things, right? And there there is a different like you have to differentiate between one and the other. Like our life expectancy for men is going to be different different. Who lives longer, actually? Well, from what I understand, women live longer yeah, right. because we're jackasses and we do stuff like movies, like the movie Jackass. You know, <laughs> <laughs> there's actually women in there too, though. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> but mainly guys, right? Yeah. It's mainly guys just thinking like, well, what what stupid thing can I do now? Right, and we do all kind of dumb things, right? So uh, the life expectancy goes to women, uh, but we don't have biological clocks like women do. So like they can only reprodu- reproduce up until a certain age. At thirty, it starts you know dwindling it's, down it's, very it's very fine, steadily. Fine yeah, and then by thirty five, it's, it's extremely hard for them to get yeah, to, to have thirty uh, five. Yeah, thirty five. Yeah, thirty five extremely hard. It starts getting really really hard. Yeah, where um, it's. I, I, next time we have a podcast, I'll have the right word for it, um, but it starts getting really tough. And don't get me wrong, we'll you'll, you'll occasionally hear hear people saying that they have you know kids between thirty five and forty. Oh, who was it? It was wait, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, right? I think their their wives are like forty three or something like that. Yeah. So my Nina had my my cousin uh, in her I think like forty or forty one year. Yeah, and without any like additional complications help or, or complications, but like, don't get me wrong. There's there the the likelihood of that happening isn't nearly as good as uh, it is well, between yeah, 20, course, course. 20 and thirty five, yeah. and so that's kind of like where that where that comes from. So when I answered that question that that question that I was telling you, those who are in the thirties, what would you say to someone entering the twenties? The one thing that I would share with somebody is. Not very many good things happen after midnight. Like, so by saying that, what I mean to say is don't get caught up in the allure of nightlife because a lot of really good things happen in the day, right? And I think if you get it, get caught up in the allure of nightlife and you get caught up in the, the, the fakeness of social media, I think that that is a hindrance on anyone entering their 20s because that holds you back from accomplishing goals yes and i think it's kind of like a a way to marry what you said and live life to the fullest for the most part and also what your what your your client said in that you're there you there has to be some sort of prolonged gratification i had a homie when i was entering my 20s uh, Edgar Mejia, he uh, he was a police officer, or still is a police officer. I won't say what department, uh, but he he was one of the assistant coaches uh, for me when I wrestled, and uh, he looked out for us. And he you know he took the time one day. Wow, he was coaching. He was already a police officer. Uh, he was about to be okay. a, a police officer, and then when I started coaching, he coached. You know, we we coached together, and then he became the police officer that he is today. And well, maybe not the exact police officer, but yeah, I, he, he had just become yeah. a police officer. And uh, Edgar told me, he goes, he goes, you got to be able to prolong your gratification. And that's what he meant. But I didn't get it because I was dumb. <laughs> well, you were young. Yeah, I, I was young and, and, and I've never been really good at prolonged gratification. I've always been like a now, now, now kind of person. So that means for me that I act immediately. Like, it's like when it's time to go, it's like it's work time. Boom, it's running. I, um, and, and I could uh, uh, testify to that. <laughs> so we had this idea of starting the, this, this channel, this podcast for quite a while, right? Or, or more or less. And yeah. then out of nowhere, we just come together. You know what? Tomorrow is going to be our first episode. Yeah. And then you, you had it. like So it's like I see that. Me, I was more so like, you know what? Like, let's do building blocks mm-hmm. and then let's get something started, you know? Yeah. But like honestly, like you know, people like to uh, touch the water or yeah. test the water. Like, yeah. nah, I I can see why you're the one. Let's jump in. Yeah, and so. and I and part of it is uh, is like your message, right? 
your message is you got to live life to the fullest. You only live once. You only have this body for how long? So for me, it's like I only have this body for how long? I need to fucking take advantage now. And so we had this idea and it's like, oh, well, it's either we keep thinking about it or we just say, fuck it. And we're going to learn as we go. Oh, right. You, you guys heard that scene, right? It was like, you think long, you think wrong. You know? <laughs> hey, I so, like that. So like, you know, like, like you, you, I, well, I heard that a lot, you know? Yeah. So it's like, me, yeah, I think like one of my flaws, bro, I swear is that. Well, one of us would be procrastinating, right? But like another one is like, I think about stuff too much, you know? Yeah. And I think now, as, and as I'm getting older, I'm little, I'm trying to get away from that as uh, every 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 day, you know, I try to yeah. like, help myself out with that yeah. aspect, right? But like, so it's just like, I, I hate to admit it, bro, but it's true. Like, honestly, man, you want to do something with your life, you want to do it, you want to do anything with it, freaking do it, man. Like, yeah. do that shit. Yeah. You know, like it's because 100%. Like, like how we said it, like there's a song like I let's talk Spanish, right? La vida prestada, like la vida es prestada. Like if you mm -hmm. want to do something, do it. If you want to, um, I don't know, you want to start something, like go ahead, start it. Uh, you want to go to school, just get a class. You know, it's something. Yeah. You know, like it's it, it's about just getting making your way there. You know, like these yeah. small steps equal to big leaps. You know, yeah. So 100 percent, man. I think I think that's really good really good message to, to send to people in general um the the life is life is fucking borrowed you know we we weren't but put a, on here we weren't weren't put on this here or this earth to fucking watch tv you know what i'm saying <laughs> I, like, love TV though. <laughs> I, I know I, I do too like i'm not saying that as like no, I, I, you know it's a bigger picture, picture, picture I get yeah it, yeah I get like it. it's no. like it's like you know we're, we're just we're not here to spend fucking 24 hours just watching tv we're here to, you know, try to make some sort of impact. And I think that one thing that this gets gives us the opportunity to do is, is we live our daily lives every day. You do your job. I do mine. I, uh, we, we deal with our, my kids and you deal with fucking everything in between. All of that you do for your mom and yeah. stuff. So, like, for me and you, we do all those things. And then we come together on, on a weekly basis and we have these conversations. And then people get to hear, like, whether it's they share something with me or they share something with you or they share something with both of us like this is our our chance to touch the world in whichever way we can and i think that's that's going to be something crazy like, uh, as we continue to grow man there's a thing guys i i swear like believe it or not it's it, it may look easy like just uh looking at us here talk about the randomest things or even having a beer right but like yeah I, and it was, uh, I kind of want to bring it up because a little adult, you know, it was like, uh, it's not that we're brave per se, but like, you know, it takes some sort of balls to be here too, you know, and I'm not like to in the beginning, like it was, it was not shaky, but it was like more nerve wracking. Now, like, it's just like, bro, I love this dude. We freaking, we sit here, we talk about, about life itself, about sports, about everything in between, how, how you said it, you know, and yeah. it's a beautiful thing, honestly, like when he leaves, whatever, I'm like, damn, like it was, it was a good day like just about being with and then even just the fact that for those that watch or you guys are interested in just hearing what um hearing what we have to say about these topics it's it's beautiful you know like yeah like how i said it last time like it's honestly we, we, we won't be we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys you know like yeah. the amount of support obviously we, we hope to gain more but yeah. like like all the feedback you guys give us we welcome everything yeah everything everything like the negative the positive the in-betweens everything man like yeah. so it's like you guys want to, um, if, even if they want to give us a topic or something to discuss, yeah. um, we'll give you guys our input on it. So, you know? Yeah. Um, if you guys want to talk shit, talk some shit. Because we, yeah. hey. We'll talk shit back, though. <laughs> We're going to talk shit back. <laughs> We're going to have a good fucking time. Yeah. We're going to laugh together. Uh, we try not to take life too, too seriously. Um, we do try to take it serious enough to actually, you know, make moves. Uh, mm -hmm. But we're out here just living life, man. Um, before we close today, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> before we close today, uh, this week is my turn to ask Joe uh, a question and see if he can get he can get Shoot. it right. Shoot it. Uh, so let's go ahead. So here's a question. question, number, question no, number one. there's just one question. Okay. So uh, here's the question, guys. Top five languages spoken in California aside from English. Spanish. Okay, that's number one. 
uh, in California. Spanish. Mandarin? Yeah, that's number two. Mandarin. Uh, I kind of want, want to say Italian. Nope. Uh, Not even in the top ten. Uh, um, Mandarin. Japanese? Nope. Damn. Uh, what's the what's what's the uh what's the Indian language called? Uh, shoot, I think it's called Hindi, but it's no. not there. Farsi. Farsi. Nope. Damn. What the hell? I'm trying to think of like. Six. Neither of those are in in the top ten. So Spanish, uh, Mandarin. Mm-hmm. Portuguese. One tip, one tip, okay? The next three are Asian languages. Bro, the only Asian language is Chinese and Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, I, I'm sorry, Mandarin, right? But I don't know many of those languages, actually, man. Well, two of them are, are like, like in, like, countries. Korean? Yes, that's number five. Uh, are you trying to say the Korean? What's that? What's that country? This. So I got three, right? So far, you got three. You got number five, uh -huh. number two, and number one. And so you're missing number four and number three. German? No. Both of the, these. Oh, you say Asian. Asian, right? Asian. Oh, sorry, sorry. You said Asian. Yeah. Uh, well, Asia is a. I think Asia is the biggest continent, right? That we have. So. <laughs> So, oh. so no, second biggest continent. Uh, Africa's got to be the biggest. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Um, damn. So, you got Korean. Korean is, is really close to this one. They used to be a communist country. Communist? Oh, my God. Russian? No, 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 they're they're Asian too, kind of. Well, Europe, right? European. Yeah. Well, no, they're 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 part in Europe, Europe, and then also part in Asia. Well, it's called Eurasia. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. One, two more, two more. So it's number four, number three. Ouch. Oh, number four, number three. <sighs> Asian countries. Do you know where Fa is from? Oh my God, Vietnamese. Yes. Uh, okay. Vietnamese. Damn, I don't know how I didn't get that, bro. <laughs> uh, Vietnamese. And then one more. This one, if I give you any hint, you'll, you're gonna know. Away. You'll get it. You're right. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, the only thing I can say, it's an island. That's the only thing I can tell you. Hey, Cambodian? What? No. <laughs> is it? Is it an island? Is huh? it an island? Cambodia. Uh, Cambodia. I don't think it's an island. I already, I already know that. Um, so it's Vietnamese, that's what, three? Four. Yeah, so that's number four, and number three is in the, right in the smack in the middle. Uh, and you don't have to know the name, the actual name of the language, just know the, the that country. The, the country that it comes from. I'm surprised I got, I remember Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> Adam. Um, damn, bro, let me get a hint. Or can I it's phone a friend? It's an <laughs> island. It's an island. Uh, it's an island. Uh, some of the nicest people come from this place. Oh, you I think? Know. You think of these people? Oh, you think my of these God. people? The Philippines? Yes, the Philippines. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny wow, that. Bro. Hey, it's funny that. It's funny that. Oh, they're, they're the nicest nice, people. Yeah. yeah. And the funniest. Uh, yeah. No <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. Manny Pacquiao. So, <laughs> then the Philippines, they speak Tagalog. And if uh, I, no if way I would have got that. No if, way. If I would have given you any hint, so like I was getting a hint would have been like Manny, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao yeah. Or a hint could have been. Oh, you could have said that you know the governor. Oh, uh, like, oh, like, nah, yeah. maybe. So look, I could have been like, if I would have told you that, there's that. If I would have said like nurses, you might have gotten uh, okay, it too. Yes, giving it away. Um, I was thinking like, oh, they were invaded by Spain, but that would have given it away too. You, no, you know what? Yeah, I, I would have got that one actually. Yeah. So like, I was just like, 
If I gave any of those, then I felt like I would have given them. Uh, Who are you, uh, six or ten? Oh, uh, I didn't write them oh, down. Write I didn't write them down, but I do have them on my phone. Oh, yeah, oh shoot. I mean, and then I do have them on my phone. So number six okay. is Persian. Oh, actually, you were right in that Hindi is, is number seven. Yeah. Uh, Arabic is number eight. I was Armenian is number nine, and Russian is number ten. You know what's crazy? Uh, I'm not say Armenian because it's Glendale. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's all right. So, so uh, I'm gonna go, go ahead. No, man. Yeah, it's it's funny. Like I just didn't want to try to ruin it. No, that's cool. So um, we're gonna go to our uh, our last segment, our, our final thoughts. Yeah. So uh, you want to come in, Adam? Come in. Come on. Have a seat. So uh, um, we ran into this uh, saying recently. Uh, it says, if someone takes a gamble on you, you make sure you always prove them right. You know? So like people get opportunities in life. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you be thankful to them. Make sure you take advantage of them and prove them right. Yep. So uh, and then uh, Adam, cheers. 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 Uh, thank you, Adam, for um, helping us out today. Thank we you, We appreciate Dad. you. And uh, just, like I said before, uh, we appreciate everyone watching. Yep. Uh, it's it's fun. It's interesting. It's it's exciting for us. So, um, like I said, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, like our channel or follow us on Instagram, on YouTube. Um, and, uh, and soon uh, to be on TikTok, hopefully. Yeah. And so, Go ahead, and, go ahead, go ahead. and comment down below. <laughs> ah, comment okay. down below. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Eh? Cheers. Appreciate it.